Professor Chiridzi Marara, Associate Professor in the School of Electrical and Information Engineering at Vets University. I come from uh, the northern province in a place called uh, Venda. I was born in Venda. I grew up there. I went to school there. I only left Venda uh, when I was 18 years old to go to, uh, to study. But uh, my inspiration really came from my grandmother, whom I was very close to. She is the person that actually brought me up. Um, when I was growing up, she emphasized the importance of the acquisition of knowledge and the use of that for the benefit of society. Uh, I remember when I was growing up, uh, sitting by the fireside with my grandmother, she, she once told me that um, knowledge and the dispersion of it must become an important part of my life because uh, it is through that that our community is actually going to be transformed to a knowledge-orientated um, community. I have come to the conclusion that um, part of the reason why our continent is underdeveloped is because of the lack of scientific knowledge uh, and, and scientific interest. Uh, and as a result of that, I realized that if I were to make an impact uh, in this continent in terms of its development and hopefully that will go uh, towards uh, the, the solving of some of the problems that are confronting us, then science and technology will be a good place to go. The beauty of teaching people who are still fairly young is because they are open to ideas. And as a matter of fact, there is a, a philosophy that I subscribe to that says that creativity actually uh, decreases as one ages. And part of the reason is because uh, we tend to be more accepting to the challenges that confront us as we grow older because probably we have been disappointed before. And I think it is particularly interesting to see the energy and the, the belief of being able to do th uh, things that older people would not even try. I would hope that in the lifetime of my generation, this society is going to be transformed into a society that is much more aware of the scientific uh, endeavors that are going on around the world. Science and technology has really benefited our society enormously. You just look at issues such as life expectancies, uh, diseases that would kill a person. Uh, not, not too long ago, less than 100 years ago, some of the diseases could kill you. And today, they are actually solved. You, know, you won't die because of those diseases. Uh, if you have the resources to, 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 to see a doctor. So my vision is that science has to move in a direction that is, that is constructive. My greatest achievement um, is to wake up in the morning and, 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 and still feel the belief that I can make a difference in this society. Professor Chiridzi Marwara set his sights on science at an early age and won the National Science Olympiad in 1989. He then represented South Africa at the London International Youth Science Fortnight. His research has taken him through mechanical engineering, aerospace engineering, and information engineering. In 1995, he graduated with a Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering with distinction from Case Western University in America. In 1997, he got his master's in engineering from the University of Pretoria. In 2000, he achieved his PhD in computatorial intelligence from the University of Cambridge in the UK. He then joined the University of London's College of Science, Technology and Medicine as a postdoctoral research associate. Prior to his appointment at FITS, he honed his practical skills and experienced the corporate world at South African breweries. 
but his heart and commitment belong to the field of teaching and dispersing knowledge. And today, he is a professor at WITS. In addition, Professor Chiridzi Marwara has received some 25 academic awards and has published 36 articles in international journals, conference proceedings, and book chapters. We are proud to announce him as the first black academic to be awarded a P rating by the National Research Foundation.